How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you part 3 of my Road to Rank series where I analyze all the 10 matches for me to get my rank in a certain playlist. This time we're playing Team Slayer. And initiate, initially I start off running towards the Plasma Caster because I learned in the first episode of the series that the Plasma Caster is pretty damn good. Uh, generally there's really only two routes you want to take either run and get the Plasma Caster or get the Shotgun. I go for the Plasma Caster but things get a little too hot and heavy. I have no backup so I back off at of that location. I do have this uh, this storm rifle and gash this gun is lethal if you're accurate luckily it's senpai comes by and gives me <laughs> notices me and gives me a uh, the plasma caster anyway so uh, things are just dandy aren't they uh, so now right here it's a little bit of a stall in the match I'm mean, right now I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do uh, I'm figuring that I'm gonna go out here just because it's a high traffic area on the outside of this, of this map and that my teammates were kind of backing me up, so I figured that, you know, it'd be, it's highly beneficial to be sticking with your team. Of course, you won't, don't want to stick too close, because obviously you can get killed by nades or rockets or whatever kind of explosion. But you want to stay close enough so that, you know, they can help you out if uh, they realize what the action around you is going on. There, I uh, got the first shot on the guy, but I wasn't that accurate. I back up because he got me one shot, and if there was any situation, it'd be a 50-50 chance if I get the kill or he does, or if he gets the kill. So I'm just gonna back off, let my teammates finish him off because I used the buddy system and stayed with my team. Here, I noticed that my teammates are getting into some action over here, so I tried to help them out. Uh, I didn't help out too great, but you can see right here the example of there perfectly of sticking together with your team. Don't run off and go and do your own thing because it, it doesn't work that well in Halo 5 unless you're just an amazing beast who can take on two on one situations all the time. Me, I'm just an average, decent player at Halo who knows how to play the game. So I'm not going to rely horribly on just my shooting ability to do well in this game. The Plasma Cast are spawning up here, so I'm going to try to stick on the outside here because. You know, since the plasma caster is a plasma caster, it's a power weapon. The t other team's gonna run and try to pick that bad boy up. Sadly enough, my team moves over to uh, treehouse or shotgun, whichever way you want to call it. And uh, I was left on by myself on that side of the map. So now I'm assuming that the blue team has control of the power weapon, since I was no, my team wasn't there, and my other team, rest of my team, just got moved over. But um, luckily. Uh, you know, we were able to take out that one guy. They do, so you can see right there, obviously, they have the plasma caster. And he's just kind of firing shots off, which is something you can do in the game. Personally, I like the charger because it has actually a, a quite a decent uh, magnetizing kind of uh, uh, ability to the plasma caster. So you don't have to be 100% accurate with it. You can kind of get in the general area, and the plasma shot will kind of stick to him, kind of curve to him using some little uh, gaming magic there. But you can also just, you know, fire it normally, but I prefer just to use that because once you fire it and you release it, once it sh explodes, it releases more grenades. So really you're just kind of multiplying your damage ability there for efficiency. And here, I'm just trying to run around and get some shots on. This guy just is unaware, and so I get a nice little perfect shot on him. Uh, right, So right now our team is leaning 22 to 7, pretty decent lead. Um, we can see what happens now. So I get right charged right here. And so I figured it's kind of like a suicide run situation. So I tried my best to lay some damage on him. Cause hoping my team could finish him off. Uh, just because in that situation, unless I did some miracle move, uh, which, you know, I just need to play the game a little more, I'm assuming, to really be able to pull off certain moves to kind of surprise the players. But in the heat of the battle, I thought it was just kind of a suicide. I just kept lacing damage on him the best I could to... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully have my team finish them off. And here, another example of sticking together with your team. I get a nice, nice little triple kill right there. But without, but have a little help from my friends. If anyone knows that song, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, made my way back over to get this plasma caster. And, you know, sadly I missed. That's the thing about it. It's definitely a power weapon, and you, but you miss sometimes. I'm right there, I could have sworn I hit a headshot on him. Uh, I, could have been some lag situation going on with this match, you know, Halo 5 does not show your ping into a server, which I don't understand why I wouldn't. Um, yeah, I think I've been noticing that a lot more often with a lot of games that they've been trying to, uh, you know, hide their uh, matchmaking abilities. But, uh, yeah, so we're here, looking over to where the least amount of my team is, which is obviously over here in blue base. And look, there's a guy over here in blue base. Big surprise. Because generally what happens in the game that the game will spawn you across 
the map where the least amount of resistance is. So now my team's over here in blue base. This guy surprised me that I should have taken into account that since nobody was on the outside and my entire team was kind of looking over to blue that... You know, there should be a guy kind of running around pretty soon, but sadly enough, there wasn't. Now, here I'm going to mix up my positioning, pick up their shotgun, because I went over the shack to see if it was there. Obviously, it was. And I kind of mix up my positioning, because it seems like everybody's kind of caught up looking on the outside of the map. My team isn't doing a whole lot of uh, coordinating. They're kind of spread around. But uh, luckily, I'm just kind of using the uh, radar here to my advantage. And try to help out my team as best as I can. Try to flank around this guy, get a shotgun kill. Sneak around and just fail. Just fail. That's all I did right there. Here, I tried going, you know, badass mode. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's have some fun. We're up. We have a big lead. See what I can pull off. And uh, nothing too great. Got one sliding kill with the shotgun, which I highly suggest doing when it comes to the shotgun. I kind of picked up that talent while, or it's like talent, but skill, while uh, playing Destiny. Destiny is a big help when it comes, at least for me, kind of get, knowing that, hey, when the when you have a shotgun, you're going to want to slide to your opponent because it gives them a variation of uh, what, unpredictable movements that uh, you wouldn't expect, especially in Halo, since this is the first time you've seen this kind of ability. Players haven't taken that into account at the moment just because the game is still so new and these movements are so so fresh. Uh, so now, kind of keep an eye on my mini-map, but uh, I can also kind of see that uh, my teammate needs some help. I try helping him out. But though I wasn't able to save his life, sadly. Rip teammates, but um, I was able to pick off that kill because he uh, was caught off guard because I had the height advantage and he didn't know I was there. And teammate picks him up. That guy, I uh, normally I would just kind of run in the situation if someone picks up the uh, the OS, but luckily he has back turns, so I just figured I'd put some shots on him anyways. Not really just to kill him, but just kind of help out my team. Just lay some shots. And now... You can see I'm going to shot from behind. I'm going to try to line my body up with the uh, geometry that was behind me to, uh, you know, get some at least some cover and run to my team for assistance. Like I said, again, very important to always just stay near your team. You don't need to be right next to them to, you know, be effective. Just close enough to where you can help them out if they're in a two-on-one situation or if they're on a one-on-one. -on -one, it greatly helps out your odds to, uh, you know, team up with a, uh, you know, with a random. Here, I kind of see that the level's a little open, especially on this side. I run over to get that DMR because it's definitely a really nice weapon. And I got a nice kill there. It seemed a bit laggy in my opinion, but hey, whatever. This guy surprised me because I did not uh, expect him to be coming up that way, sadly. But hey, look, we're 17-6. and six. Our team is definitely going to win this match pretty easily. Uh, if you like these analysis videos of this Road to Rank series, please tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Uh, subscribe for more awesome Halo content. You know, if you have any suggestions on how to uh, do these videos any better, or if you have any opinion on them, please let me know. Right there, I fire the plasma caster shot because I figured that since there's an X over there, my teammate, uh, the, my teammate's uh, assailant murderer would be over there. And so, certainly enough, I got a, a hit marker, so I figured they're trying to hide while they're getting spanned with nades and stuff like that. But uh, they say teammate was over in the back right there. He finished him off with a grenade. But anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Greatly appreciate it. Tap that like button if you uh, enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.